If you want to be more efficient and effective while running your business with more inner peace than working on the core of your issues instead of putting on a band-aid is vital. Welcome to the Business Brain Podcast. I'm your host, SD Rapport, and here to help you improve your 28 cognitive functions, the 28 things that make up thinking. In each episode, we'll discuss a real life challenge, why you might be struggling with it, and give you practical strategies so all areas of your life will improve. You need to dumb down your marketing, but why? What are the benefits and is it worth your time? That's what's coming up next on the Business Brain Podcast, episode 425. But first, screenshot this episode and share it on Instagram stories. Don't forget to tag me at LifePix University so I can thank you personally. Now, for today's real life challenge, imagine you're writing a new sales page. You've already spent many hours trying to get the perfect language for your potential clients. And you want to just say it's time to press publish. But you know from different marketing gurus that you've got to make it stupidly simple to read and understand. Is it worth putting another few hours to make it even better? The work that you put in to make it even easier to understand is instead of your potential client needing to do the work. The difference is if your brain does the hard work, you will get more clients. The stranger, the potential client, looks at your sales page. And if he has to work hard to understand it, he's going to just close the top. Because he doesn't know if he is going to get any benefit from it. He doesn't know if you are a scam, if this is fitting his needs, if he's going to buy. He doesn't know any of that. And it's not worth his time, patience, or mental energy. That's a big one for him to be able to really be able to understand it. Our brain is wired for survival. It doesn't want to work hard. Just like you don't want to work hard to break down the sales page into simple, easy words. Your potential client also doesn't work hard because we're both just wired for survival. The easier it is for your potential client to read and understand, the more likely they'll buy simply because they've actually read and understood the sales page. Does that make sense? Good. We're going to go a little bit deeper on this. Different things are challenging for different people based on their strong or weak cognitive functions, right? Thinking is not one big thing. Thinking is made up of 28 thinking skills called cognitive functions. Now, naturally, we all have stronger and weaker thinking skills. We have different strong, weak cognitive functions. But my weak cognitive functions may be different than your weak cognitive function may be different than a third person's weak cognitive functions. So when I'm writing a sales page, I am understanding it differently and having challenges with different parts of it compared to you. Some people need diagrams and images as they struggle with abstract thinking. Some people need words while other people need videos. You most definitely will have people understand with an easier vocabulary, simpler, shorter sentences, and that's why they say to make it on a fifth or even third grade level. Like, really? The more ways you're able to make your marketing simple, with less slingo and easier to understand, the more people will actually consume it. So is it worth it? You tell me. Today we spoke about the reasons as to why you wanna dumb down your marketing because our brains don't like to work hard. The difference is when you work hard, hopefully it raises your bottom line. When your potential clients work hard, they have no idea if it is going to benefit for them or not. Your challenge this week is to take one piece of marketing. I don't care if it's one email, one video, one link to post, one piece and find ways to make it simpler and easier to consume. One last fact before you go. The stronger your thinking skills are, the stronger your cognitive functions are, the easier it is for you to dumb down your marketing. That's all for this episode of the Business Brain Podcast. If you enjoyed it, please share it with two of your business friends so they too can gain from it and you'll be helping us reach our goal of 1 million downloads by the end of 2025. Cheers to peak brain performance.